What's going on everyone? This is Keebs and we're going to be doing our World Arena replays for the week. And we only have two replay, replays this week because our opponents here were... Well, we had two people who instantly quit. One because they're level 45, the other one because I don't know what happened with them. But I looked at their stats and they were pretty low as far as in comparison to my own heroes. And then the other one here was Hideo who was a bot. So this was a bot match. These two instantly quit. So we only have two matches to show for this week. One is against Dark Knight Leon. The other one here is against SG Boss. And Dark Knight Leon is where we're going to start. This first match is on the little forest map. And the, because there was forest, I decided I really wanted to see if, you know, do some more damage testing for my Illustrial. I'm really just trying to get as much damage testing as I can with her to get a feel for, like, uh, how much damage she can do against certain matchups and this one ended up being pretty useful to me because I found out that I think that in season or, or when I get her to six stars I think that I'll probably be able to kill off some some pretty decent bozels with uh, as long as I have neutralizing fire before battle but uh, for this one I do have Illustriel, Juggler, Liana, Gerald and Layla and Zerida and my opponent here has, I believe, uh, Listel, Rachel, Landius, Liana, and Bozel. So, knowing that, let's go ahead and turn on the Danger Zone and start the fight. So, Landius here, I, there's a big surprise later in the fight that we'll see. But pretty much, I go ahead and set up my juggler here with his faction buff. He sets up faction buff for his Bozel. Pretty much just for Bozel, because he did already have a ELS buff for for his uh, Listel, but I set up my Zerida. I'm going to act again my juggler right now because I know that if he does use act again on his less Listel, which he does, I don't want him to use Mindborn and hit my whole team here. So I go ahead and bring my juggler forward and Triton to block her off. Now she can only hit my uh, my Gerald and Layla with the, the Blood Dance if he wanted to. But for whatever reason, he goes for the Mindborn here, which doesn't really matter to me because he just wasted that skill. That was a, a huge threat to to my ability to advance. And also, I made a mistake here of not bringing the Shadow Raid skill on my Zerida, so I don't have any way to ignore Guard with her. So that's kind of why I can't really afford to make any kind of approach. Pretty much as soon as I set her up here, I looked at her skills and I realized that. But they go and set up their Landius here on the forest, and this is where we find a little bit of a surprise here. You'll see that they're just setting up. I'm spacing out to try to avoid Bozel's AoE, but this is the surprise here is that finding out their Landius does not have Overlord Badge, which this plays a really big role because since he doesn't have Overlord Badge, it allows me to pretty much ignore him when I go in for this attack. Their, their Bozel here is on top of Forest, so that's part of why I wasn't able to kill him, even though I did use Neutralizing Fire to... what's it called? to get rid of his Holy Light protection, but since he did kill off my Illustrial with his Landius, I go and finish off his first life with my Juggler, and unfortunately that prayer wasn't enough to save his Landius. I go and use Holy Light here, or Holy Word, on top of the forest and kill off Landius from melee range, and now I have immunity to all debuffs. This isn't going to do anything to my Layla because I have immunity to all debuffs, but he only ends up hurting himself here. And since he doesn't have Landius around, I get the free kill here on Listel. So free kill, this is where it starts turning in my favor. He fails to kill my juggler here with this, uh, this Dark Scythe, unfortunately. And it ends up biting him in the butt a little bit because, well, you know, he, he couldn't get that kill when he needed it. But it ends up not really mattering because he black holes. It does kill off my juggler, but since he's demon, it does no damage to my Gerald and Layla, and I also take no debuffs. So here I go and attack their Liana because I really want to try to force the the heal with her, but they try to kill off my Zerida with Rachel. Thankfully, due to Cloak of Defiance, I get the counter kill. I also get to heal up my Zerida and my Gerald and Layla, and now he has no answer. So he retreats because his Bozel is Demon, can't kill off my Layla as well as his, uh, or what's it called, my my Zerida also can't be killed, probably, 
due to the fact that she is uh, has the the cloak of defiance so that one ends up being my win pretty cool one for me uh, I did find out that my illustrial against an 11k bozel with only 9,000 HP on soldiers cannot kill if if Flamdius is around but we'll see what happens in six when I hit six stars with her but either way it was a successful test and a successful match for me and this next match here is against SG boss this is gonna be our last one uh, let's jump into it so you can see the map because I don't want to try to describe it and you know stumble all over my words but basically you can see that they're already moving forward with their Leon Leon heart they're running Leon heart juggler uh, Iris Listel and uh, who's the last one here Zerida I think uh, so the funny thing about their Zerida is she's not six stars and this ends up being a really playing a really big role in this fight uh, you'll see that in a moment this is a pretty short fight but for this one I since there's no defensive terrain I decided not to run Illustrial here and I thought it would be a good opportunity to for me to test out my cavalry D heart so that's where who I have down here I also have Gerald and Layla Zerida Liana and Juggler so let's jump in he's gonna start off pretty aggressive with Leon Hart unfortunately he fails to to get any stuns off here also he has Bloodsword hunting unfortunately he can't kill my Layla thanks to the extra beefy stats from Ancient Beckoning and he, he's basically just trying to set up to prevent me from using my act again which is useful but it's not gonna help him here because I have Gerald and Layla to heal everyone up he goes in mind bores it is gonna silence my Gerald and Layla and D heart but my both of my my tank and my healer here are immune to silence so I just go ahead and faction buff there he's not really gonna threaten me in any way and I go and attack with my D heart here I take some pretty big damage since I'm charging ahead of my my archer soldiers since I attack from melee but the important part is that I stun his Listel here and I set up my Zerida's uh, stealth buff on top of that because there is their Zerida doesn't have uh, what's it called because their Zerida doesn't have six stars she's not able to reach mine so pretty much I was able to threaten theirs while they can't do anything to mine but let's go ahead and continue. Since they're using the Holy class instead of the Mage class, they don't have the mobility to heal their Listel to get rid of the stun, which ends up being really important here because they can't heal her to allow her to attack this turn, which ends up playing to my favor. On top of that, because she's only 5 stars and is not using an attack bow and is instead using Bathory, she doesn't, she's not able to kill my D-Heart. And I go and attack his Listel just to get some damage in. It doesn't really matter that he teleports her out because I pretty much have turn advantage at this point. I'm setting up my juggler's Triton. He has to either stay here or use, uh, what's it called, Beast Shock. He goes for the Beast Shock, which leaves his Listel unguarded, which means I get the free kill here. On top of that, my D-Heart is now not silenced, so... I go for Calamity and Demon Hunter combo, kill off his Zerida, and stun Juggler, and that is my win. So, pretty nice and easy match for me, thankfully, uh, despite the annoying Leon Heart in the beginning, shutting down my ability to use Act again for the fight. But, it was, I would say this was a pretty successful test of my, my Cavalry D Heart, even though he, re he was really only stunning enemies and not really doing too much else. But, yeah, it's it's pretty cool stuff. I really do wish that I had maxed out unicorns to be testing out, but unfortunately I don't have them maxed out just yet. I could have used dragoons if I wanted to, but due to the matchup, uh, as well as World Arena not letting you switch skills, I decided that Demon Hunter and Calamity would probably be the, the better combination of skills for, for the World Arena's small maps in the case that I got them instead of the Apex Arena maps, which is the case. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. Um, pretty easy week for me this week for World Arena since I only do it for the five wins. But, yeah, we'll see. Maybe maybe next year, once the new year rolls in, I'll make maybe make a push for 
for Langrisser if if I don't get cancer from all of the Listel matchups that I get. But yeah, we'll we'll have to see what happens. But either way, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.